Hey there, everybody. Thanks for taking the time out your day to join in to the channel. Hey, if this is your first time tuning in, make sure you turn that post notification bell button on. Everybody else, just like, comment, and share. Today, we're going to talk about that boy, Miska, man. He in the news headlines today, and it's looking like his ex-boss man, Master P, is going out his way to say that boy innocent, and he doing his concert shows, and he... uh. Giving a shout out to Miska, man. He's saying salute to that boy Miska. Hopefully he'll be home soon because you know that boy got caught up on the old fool gazy old charge, man. If they like try to credit him for all those rapes that them people said he done, it'll be three of them. But really, he only did time for one. The second one got thrown out. You know what I'm saying? They found out the girl was lying or whatever. And that had to do a lot to do with the dude that Misko had with him, you know what I'm saying? And he was saying that now nah, Misko didn't do that, and you know what I'm saying? That was the only thing that saved Misko, you know what I mean? But this third case, man, is kind of crazy, man, because they got false imprisonment, and they got drugs on them, they got heroin, you know what I mean? They got a lot of more different charges they hit them with. They got like nine or ten charges on them, man. And Miska like, hell no, nah, man, they ain't do that shit. You know what I mean? They were saying he was high off drugs and stuff and he was praying over the girl and this and that. And it was only a hundred dollars that was reportedly stolen, man. So a lot of people saying, yeah, dog, they tried to railroad that boy Miska, man. Miska ain't really do this shit, but even Master P believe it, you know what I'm saying? Because what fool going to do the same thing three times in a row, let alone twice, you know what I'm saying? So you know it's some bullshit. He later used the police as a weapon to try to control Misko when he got outraged, you know what I'm saying? He probably was taking drugs or whatever. Or he could have had that shit in there for his crew, some of his homeboys, you know what I'm saying? But either way... It was drugs found in the house, so I believe the whole, since she know Miska fucked up, she going to use that as a, you know, as a tool to try to get the man locked up at any given time, man. But Miska just got to learn to stay from around all these girls, man. Don't let nobody in this house and none of that stuff, man, because it's how shit happened, man. But Master P, he going out his way to say free you. Misko, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully you get out of trouble. But I'm trying to figure out why would Master P say that? Does you owe Master P some shows or something? Does uh, you supposed to be on the tour and you was paid up up front or what, man? Because, you know, most of the time when you fuck up, Master P normally leave you behind. That's one thing Master P don't like. You know what I'm saying? If he putting money behind you and y'all working out of play, y'all doing something together, and then you get fucked up, normally Master P wash his hands with everybody that do that for some reason. He just saying, uh, free that boy Miska, man. Bring that boy Miska home. And I believe Miska do need to come home. I believe he need another shot. You know what I'm saying? I know right now, Miska will give up that house, all his cars and everything to get free. You know what I mean? And you know what I'm saying? It just got to just gotta wait it out, man. Hopefully Miska will get out and that they don't railroad him. And hopefully the judge and the jurors will see that, you know what I'm saying? This man ain't do that shit three times, man. It was just some bogus case. The police wrote it up a certain type of way to make him look like a monster. You know how them girls get you set up peace of mind.